also. Yeah, that, 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 that had an effect on it. He worked me good. He recruited me too. So, but you know, knowing him, you know, and I've known him, you know, Tony through West Virginia to Michigan and, you know, then in Arizona and back to West Virginia again. He was at Pitt. So, we, you know, I've known him a long time. What made Penn State Penn State? You spent enough time there to have yeah, figured that you know, out. No, it's interesting. Someone laid that on me the other day. I guess I have more games than any living person in Penn State history on the sideline. I don't think anybody, no one's going to catch me until I pass away unless I live a long time. Uh, you know, Joe was one, I was two. And, uh, you know, I think the one thing that made it different up there, uh, very, very family-oriented atmosphere. We all knew each other so well. Uh, it's, it's one of the learning experience here at practice. I'm not sure Coach Holgerson's, uh, you know, when he looks at you for certain things, but I, I guarantee when Joe looked at me for certain things, I know what that meant. Uh, and he, all he had to do was look. Oh, well, yeah, I tell people I haven't <laughs> yelled at in almost two and a half years, so I don't know what to do. They say you got a good imitation of him. I do a real good one, but I'm not about to do it in front of you guys. <laughs> Maybe someday in private we'll do it, <laughs> but certainly not today. And uh, <laughs> no, but I do. I think anybody that's played there has a good imitation. Anybody that's coached there can do it. Uh, you know, maybe, uh, you know, mine so than other 37 years with them, 33 years coaching with them. Uh, I think I've got it down pat now. 33 years from now, you'll have Hogerson down. <laughs> Dana's mentioned your experience, and I mean, you talked about that family atmosphere at Penn State. Are you bringing any of that here? I mean, are you looking to to bring anything new to the mix here, seeing things that they've done over the past month and, and adding new new facets? I'm just trying to help us win whatever it takes. Whatever whatever they need me to do, I'm going to do to help us win. That's why I'm here, and that's what I'm going to continue to do, whatever small way, large way, no way, whatever way I can help, I'm going to try to help out. Coach and D-line different for you? Well, that, that was interesting, too, because uh, the, the, the good thing that, that happened to me at Penn State was I've coached offense, I've coached defense, and uh, we came here, and I think you guys know everybody in this defensive staff is a back-end guy. And so somebody had to go up and coach the defensive line. Well, I didn't realize at the time, and Tony said, well, we have all back-end guys. I said, well, I'll coach the linebackers. I coached him at Penn State for 10 years or so. And he said, well, we need someone who knows the defensive line. And, I, and he tried to pull the fast one. He said, well, didn't you coach him one year? And I, I said, OK, I'll do it. So, uh, you know, it's OK. I mean, I enjoy it. It's coaching's coaching. I think if you're a coach, you're a coach, you're a coach. I think it's a good experience. I've been on offense. I coach wide receivers. I've coached running backs at Penn State. I've coached secondary, all the special teams, linebackers, you know, coordinated. I've uh, been head coach, so I, I think anytime you get a chance to have an opportunity to do something, if you don't take advantage of it, but coaching is coaching, and it doesn't matter what position you coach. Players say so you've coached them like linebackers somewhat, though. I seem to be athletes more so than maybe D-linemen. <laughs> that may be my mentality. <laughs> but, uh, no, I want them to be agile. I want them to be players, okay? They're more than – and, and in, in our defense, you know, we're going to require them to be unselfish. We're going to require them to be, as I've teased them, you guys are the muckers and grinders of this defense. You've got to make the linebackers look good, make everybody else look good. Um, and so, you know, one of the things we're trying to do is we're going to try to be more athletic, and we're just going to try to work on those skill sets that we have to to be an accomplished defensive team. What do you like about your defensive line? Well, I'll tell you what I like right now is they're buying into what we're doing. And one of the things I told them the other day, we're hustling to the ball. We're hustling. If you hustle, you know, good things will happen. And uh, you just keep hustling, good things will happen. And, and we'll blow assignments and we'll go the wrong way. But if you do 100%, then good things happen. And that's what I'm trying to sell them. Well, we're not going to play the perfect game. We're never going to do that. But every day you come out to practice, there's effort. You can have effort every day you come out, no question. You're not going to be, you might miss a tackle. You might do this, you may blow a couple of assignments. But there's no reason why you can't come out and give 100% every day. Tom, straight, straight forward, will you? Pissed off, for a lack of a better word, when you didn't get that coaching job at Penn State. Well, I would never use that word. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what, what, no, what was you use a similar? Hey, oh, yeah. ta let's talk about West Virginia. Come on, it's about these players. It's about these guys. It's about it's their time. Okay, they're excited. For, they're coming off a four and eight uh, season. You know, they're 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 upset about that. They want to come out better, and and so I think we've had six days of practice. We're moving along steadily. Uh, hopefully, we're getting better each and every practice, and, and we can continue that next week. Too. It, that it is kind of about West Virginia, though, because you wouldn't be here without <laughs> if you'd have gotten that job. Does that make your job harder or easier coming off a, a four-win season? I mean, when, when I you think it's easier to sell fundamentals. Mm -hmm. It's easier to sell all the little things that you're trying to sell because they they want to be coached. They want to learn. They're excited to get better. I mean, no one wants to go four and eight, so they're they're they, they're they're here to. To be coached, and they want to be coached, and and they're good at it. You know, they they really are. They've been very acceptable to the things that, that have come in. And we've tried to get across to them.